Hey everyone, here's how you can make a face deformation in Spark AR. For this tutorial, I want to show two different ways you can create a deformation effect to your filters. The first way is a quick and easy way to add a deformation, however, it lacks the ability to create precise modification. Start by either clicking on the face distortion template in the starting screen, or importing the face distortion block by clicking this plus sign, search AR library, blocks, and the face distortion. Click it and hit import free. Go ahead and close it out. Next we want to add the block into the scene so let's just drag it in above here. And as you can see, it's now applied. Over here on the first option, you can turn on or off the smoothness on the face. And from here to here, you can adjust the scaling of the features. And from the square to squash, these are the shapes that you can distort the face to. This way is simple because it comes with sliders that you can easily adjust to your liking. However, it's quite limited as there are only 14 sliders you can adjust and the scaling is only a positive number so you can only scale it up. I would say that it's useful if you need to exaggerate the shape of the face using one of these options, giving it a caricature type of look. The other way is more complex but it gives more room to make transformations the way you want it to look. Basically, you will modify a 3D face object in which Spark has already provided using a 3D modeling application. For this, you're going to need to download Spark AR Face Reference Assets. I'll have the link in the description. From this, you will need the face mesh from the mesh folder. Another thing you will need is a 3D application where you can alter the vertices of the face mesh. I generally use Blender which is a free 3D software you can download. I'll also include the link for it in the description if you're interested. Alternatively, if you don't want to download Blender, there is a free online website called SculptGL where you can sculpt just the same since we don't really need to use complex tools. I'll mainly demonstrate using this website since it's easily accessible but I can briefly show you how to set it up on Blender afterwards as well. First, we need to delete the sphere so go on scene and clear scene. And now we can drag in the face mesh object or import it here. On the right side, you can see the tool section and we really only need to use the drag tool. The radius is where you can adjust the brush size. So let's bring it down to around 80 and now you can make adjustments. Say we want to make a baby face deformation. So let's make the eyes bigger and the nose higher. the cheeks a bit chubbier, and the mouth less wide. As a shortcut, you can hold X and drag in or out to adjust the radius of the brush size. Once you're done, go over to Files, Save Object, and now you have the file saved. If you decided to use Blender, let's clear the scene by hitting X and Enter. Then go to File, Import, Wavefront Object or FBX and select the face mesh. Now with the face selected, change to Sculpt Mode at the top left bar. Change the view to front by hitting NumPad 1 or click on the Y green circle over here. Make sure you have the symmetry to the X axis turned on and the tool that we're going to use is the Elastic Deform. It's similar to SculptGL and the same process goes. If you have an iPad, you can also use apps like Nomad Sculpt or Forger to modify the face. Now back to Spark. Drag in the object file for it to import. Then add in the face mesh by clicking the plus sign and face mesh. Where you see the deformation part on the properties panel, Click on the plus and select your mesh. And now you can see the changes we made. Along with it, there is a slider where you have the option to decrease the intensity of deformation adjustment. Also, make sure you uncheck these boxes 
so it covers it with deformation for the eyes and mouth as well. If you have any questions, comment down below and if you found this helpful, make sure to hit the thumbs up and subscribe for more Spark AR tutorials. Thanks for watching, see you next time!